welcome to Minor Tinkering. I thought I'd take you with me on a little drive today. I'm uh, heading down through the lovely Kent countryside to uh, pick up my mother and sister-in-law um, and bring them back home. We're having a little bit of a family get together for Easter. So it's Easter Sunday today, so happy Easter everyone. And um, yeah, I thought I'd bring you along with me. It's quite a pretty little drive down through here. So I thought we'd do it together. And we just have a little bit of a natter along the way, really. Um, been doing a bit more Morris Minor. I will show you the odd clips here and there, the stuff that I've been doing. Um, I've got a filthy cold at the moment as well, so probably uh, sound absolutely thick with cold, but there we go. Um, I've had a bit of a nasty throat, a bit of a sore throat, but that's gone now. So it's just this sort of bunged up feeling um, and just feel a bit achy, but on the whole, not too bad. So that's good news. But yeah, we're just on our way down to a little rural village called Liminge, which is in between Canterbury and Folkestone. Um, I think it's roughly about seven miles each way, smack dab in the middle, um, in the uh, beautiful Kent countryside. Um, and then we'll be heading, once I've picked up my relatives, we'll be heading back up to Medway. And uh, we're gonna have a nice, nice little lunch together, all of us, so that should be really good. So what have I been doing on the Morris Minor? Well, a few bits actually. It didn't go quite so well as I would have hoped yesterday. Um, but I thought yesterday, there's a couple of things I wanted to get done. The first was, um, I wanted to try and get the rear bumper together. It, obviously I've got a rear bumper. I don't know whether you just saw that, that very low jetter that just went in the opposite direction. Um, yeah, I've got a, um, a decent second-hand bumper, uh, valance, bumper blade, bumper iron that I bought from Alan down the road. He's the guy with all the split screens that I think I've shown on a previous video. Um, the only thing my car hasn't got is the actual bumper irons. He did have a couple in um, the little uh, four-door, the white sort of late 60s four-door shell that he's got, and I was gonna have them off of him. I did pay him for them actually, but uh, the bolts are all seized on them and they've also been tack welded in as well and it just looked a bit of a pain in the ass to do to get those because there's no power where you know I can't it's not like I could run an extension lead and get a grinder or something so I decided um, I might make my own bumper irons now I'm not sure um, whether the actual holes in the rear valance are in the right place, because my car never had a proper bumper on it when I when I picked it up. It had some sort of makeshift custom bumper that the guy had made, and um, the brackets that he made inside the boot were completely different to how it would normally fit a standard. Um, so basically, I thought, well, I'll get some tubing, and um, I'll make up some new irons myself. Now we had a piece of equipment uh, at work that was put out for scrap and it had some decent uh, steel tubing on it and I thought, you know what, that looks the same size as my as my bumper irons. So I measured them um, as, as my um, openings in the rear valance, should I say, and I measured it up and to my surprise it was. So I thought, okay, I will have those I'll take that piece of steel, I'll cut that down, uh, make a couple of sections, and then what I plan to do is weld a couple of nuts in the back of the tube sections so that I can then thread a bolt in for um, holding the rear bumper rear bumper bar and balance and blade on. Um, but I, I found out actually that the holes don't line up, so I'm not sure whether the holes in my rear balance are wrong or 
Um, I know the original bump rides do come out at a bit of an angle, but I've got some work to do, needless to say, so I, I think I'm gonna make up some adapter brackets um, to fit it all together. It will, it will make sense when you see what I'm saying, but basically where the holes should line up to, they don't. Um, so I'm gonna to have to make it fit which is not a problem, we can do that. I did paint the blade, but I wasn't very happy with the finish on it, so I've decided I'm gonna assemble it all together, work out how I'm gonna fit it on the car, um, and if needs be, I'll either paint it prior to fitting, uh, repaint it again prior to fitting, or fit it on the car and then mask everything up around it and paint it whilst it's on the vehicle. But either way, we get that sorted. I did get my number plates on, uh, or I've got my rear number plate on because the front's nowhere near finished yet. I've got the rear number plate on. I've got the rear number plate lamp on um, and wired in. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I did find that um, one of the terminals inside the... I had to, I had to get some little uh, bullet terminals which I picked up a couple from work and a couple of new bulbs for it. I did find that when I connected one of the bullet terminals uh, the part inside the lamp sort of broke off um, and fortunately there was enough of the little wire clip still there for me to bend it round again and hold on to the terminal uh, which I've done, I've assembled it back together um, it is the original lamp, I think. It's got a lovely chrome cover, just a few little pits in it. Um, and it has actually the glass lens all still intact. So I've managed to get that all back together, um, got it working, um, and it looks great. So I've got that on, got my number plate on. I have, um, oh yeah, Owen popped round to see me in the rapier. Um, so I have got a little bit of footage of the rapier. Um, we did go for a little drive around the block in it, but we were so both tight for time, we didn't have a have a proper a proper drive out in it. But that is something that's going to be happening very soon, and I will do a proper video of the car. Um, but my word, what a lovely piece of kit that is! Um, fantastic machine. Um, he's done such a brilliant job of restoring it. The thing literally looks like, like new now. So we went for a drive around that. When he came back, um, he gave me a hand to fit my sun visor on, um, which we've done. The sun visor is now on the vehicle. It does need to be uh, polished. I've, got, I've put the trims on. I've, I discovered last night when I was doing something else um, that it is still a little bit pissed actually. So <laughs> it's a bit lower one side than the other. So I've got to straighten that up. Um, but now it's on, it's much easier to uh, to sort of adjust it and get it right. Um, it's very awkward to work out where to take measurements from because as you know, I've only got one door fitted on the car at the moment. So a little fire going on here. I think they're doing a bit of a tidy up of the trees and things. Yeah, with it only having one door on there, I can't take any measurements off of the door because I think it shows you measuring the distance away from the quarter light hinge on the very poor dis uh, instructions that come with it. Um, but yeah, there's no hard and fast measurements. So um, we got it on there. It's on there roughly. I will give it a little tickle later to get it absolutely perfect. But it looks good. I haven't got any photos of it, unfortunately. I tried to take a photo of it, but because I was in the garage and the car was outside, um, it kept underexposing the photos and it looked crap. So look, next time it's properly out of the garage, I'll get a photo of it and show you. But yeah, well pleased with that. Um, lots still to do, obviously. Um, I've still got to get that other door sanded and back on. I am looking forward to doing um, a video on the front wings, um, all about, um, uh, I think I'm gonna be able to restore the front wings rather than repaint them. Um, the paint on them is actually pretty good. The whole reason I've stripped all the other paint off of the car, i.e. the doors, the roof, and the rear of the car was because of those awful bloody cracks in the paint. Um, but the front wings are not really, haven't really got many cracks in them. They've got quite a few chips and scuffs and what have you. 
and I think I can um, I can rescue the paint because it's in pretty good shape underneath all the muck and grime that's on it but um, yeah we'll have a go at that but I'm going to sign off now um, I'm just going to uh, very shortly pick up my relatives so I will speak to you again very soon take care all the best bye now